Hey everybody and welcome to Duality 9X, your number one spot on YouTube to talk about the craziest, weirdest, freakiest, strangest, scariest videos that are floating out there on social media platforms. Today we've got a great lineup of videos we can't wait to share. Before we get started, please like, share and subscribe. I hope you grab your beverage, sit back, relax. It's about to get crazy. Without further ado, let's go. That's kind of cool. I, I know that first fruit that they were talking about. Uh, uh, sorry, guys, I can't remember the name of it, but it kind of looked like durian, right? Now, I don't know if you guys had had durian and it, the, the, the outer layer of the durian, it's like really prickly and it's uh, it's kind of like big. Um, when you open it up, it like no word of lie, it smells like somebody, somebody cut the cheese, like somebody did a big fart and it smells absolutely horrid. But when you taste it, when you actually bite into durian, it's like complete opposite. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear your comments. Um, a, lot, a lot of these uh, exotic fruits, I don't even know the names of them. Um, they're so hard to pronounce, but the star fruit I definitely recognize. And then one of those other fruits kind of looked like the lychee, beautiful. Uh, but if you guys had any of these, um, please comment. Uh, I'd love to hear about your guys' experience strangest planet in our universe. This is Kepler-186f. Some people call oh. it Earth's cousin, but it has one big difference. The plants on this world are likely red instead of green. This is an Earth-sized world in the habitable zone of its star, meaning liquid water could exist on the surface. NASA even made this beautiful poster which reads Kepler-186f where the grass is always redder on the other side. <laughs> that's, that's cool. The, the, the grass is always redder on the other side. Um, that, that's interesting. I've heard about Kepler. Now, I don't know if this is the same Kepler planet. I don't know if there's a number of different Kepler planets. This particular planet, supposedly, uh, is probably one of those planets that kind of mirror uh, Earth and um, in, in a lot of many different ways now uh, they're saying that there's water there's like um, plants um, now whether there's organisms or anything biological that organic of, of nature I don't know but that the problem with a lot of these planets that are somewhat inhabitable and somewhat kind of close to Earth are light years away which means even if we were to take a rocket ship um, and if we were in it, I mean, even traveling at the speed of light in some cases, it, it would take us like a hundred years, a hundred years just to get to that planet. Like that's how massive the solar system is. That's how massive space is. And you think about space and, you, and I'm going to do a video on this one of these days, just to kind of, there's a cool video out there that shows you just how big and puts into perspective just how big space is with all the different planets and all the different galaxies and solar systems and I mean it's it's absolutely incredible and we we think we are living in this massive massive we're nothing we're just like a tiny little speck in terms of what's really out there and you know that kind of segues I mean into the, the you know the discussion of aliens and, and extraterrestrial life that that could potentially be out there I mean obviously there's got to be something else out there right all right Okay, 
Okay, I... What is that? It looks like a gear that's... decomposing in this monster. Yeah, that just can't be real. Yeah, this is kinda like... They're filming it like it's like Blair Witch, right? Like, why are there all these pauses and stops? And, oh, there's that deer again. It's like it's starting to curl up. This lady just exposed the truth about why Americans are unhealthy while on the other hand Europeans are healthy. I'm an American in Italy and I'm here to inform you about America's food and how they are making us sick and why Americans are fat and Europeans are slender. Why? Because while we think we might have the same food, we actually have different food. I'm going to give you a concrete example. This is Fanta. Fanta in Europe is made from sugar, carbonated water, and real orange in the u.s is all fake all artificial all bad for your health in europe this is basically watered down real orange juice with carbonated water i i didn't even realize that so i mean we have the same product here on on, on the shelves but apparently this particular brand fanta is like night and day from from what they sell in europe have you guys ever had fanta in in the, another part of the world I have personally and it's fantastic and I noticed that it didn't quite taste the same here and I don't know if that's because of all the preservatives and chemicals and perhaps maybe things that they put in the uh, you know in the, in the beverage here but it did taste better overseas please comment if you guys had Fanta uh, or any other product for that matter that they sell here in another part of the world and your experiences on that. The Screaming Tunnel. This is, this looks good. Beneath the Canadian National Railroad, on the northern outskirts of Niagara Falls, Ontario, in the very center of the quiet rural strip separating that city from northwesterly St. Catharines, runs a small limestone corridor known as the Screaming Tunnel. Okay. Built in the early 1900s for drainage purposes, this dark, 125-foot-long passageway, hidden away off Warner Road, not far from the Queen Elizabeth Highway and the Warner Methodist Cemetery beyond, its entrance shaded by overhanging vegetation, is the perfect setting for one of Canada's eeriest urban legends. According to local lore, the tunnel owes its name to a tragic event which took place around the turn of the 20th century. One night, a nearby farmhouse caught fire, and a woman or girl stumbled from the inferno, suffering from appalling burns. Her nightgown ablaze, the girl staggered into the tunnel, wailing as she walked, perhaps hoping to find help on the other side of the railroad. Before she could complete her journey, she collapsed and died in the middle of that rough-hewn underpass. Ever since, disembodied shrieks, as of a woman in agony, have been heard emanating from the tunnel oh, at night. Wow. Legend has it that if you enter the screaming tunnel at midnight and light a wooden match, something will blow your match out. Wow. And a blood-curdling scream will reverberate throughout the passageway. Oh. According to an article on the website ghostwalks.com, the cyber home of a ghost tour company, which brings its patrons to the most haunted locales in southern Ontario, there is a much less horrific story which reports to explain the tunnel's naming. The article cites an anonymous Niagara historian who interviewed a nameless woman who claimed to have lived in the area at the time the tunnel was named. Years ago, the informant had an eccentric neighbor 
who argued frequently and loudly with her husband. Without fail, after each quarrel, this cantankerous housewife would exit her home, walk across a field, and disappear into the screaming tunnel. A couple seconds later, the informant told the historian, we all heard it, a loud scream. The first time it happened, we were scared. After a while, it felt normal, expected. She, and I swear this, walked to the middle of the tunnel and screamed at the top of her lungs. The birds never got used to it. We started calling it the Screaming Tunnel. Whatever secrets it holds, that gloomy corridor on the southern arm of Ontario's so-called Golden Horseshoe has an intrinsic spookiness, which will doubtless ensure its place in urban legend for years to come. Wow. Um, you, you saw that little clip, right, with the, the acreage or the estate that's like right across, like in the field right across from the Screaming Tunnel. Like imagine living there and like just going out for a walk in the evening. I'm sure, without a doubt, the people who live in that on, on that property must be thinking about it every single time they walk by that tunnel. The question is, are they actually going for walks? I don't know. Do you want to go for walks if you live right across one of the most haunted sites in, in, in Canada uh, and you just happen to be living across the street? Would you actually be going for walks or would you just be kind of getting to wherever you need to get to in your vehicle? Um, or would you even want to live there is the question. But I mean, that's an interesting story. There's a new horror movie coming out soon about a deck of tarot cards that has some kind of evil trapped inside of it. It's supposed to be really scary, so let's watch the trailer together. I also haven't seen it yet, so this is a blind react. Twelve cards in a circle. One more at the heart. With this final card, your reading will start. That's terrifying. Yeah, this old deck's kind of strange. Where did you find them? an unspoken rule not to use somebody else's cards. Who cares? Who's going first? Follow my rule. Stay out of Hello? You're never to deal with a devil's Okay, that 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 looks like a pretty freaky, uh, a very very scary film. Wow, wow. I mean, with AI and the technology, with CGI, with the things that they can do in modern day cinema, it's absolutely wild. It's out of control. I mean, the movies that are going to be coming out now, very realistic. The graphics are like second level um very exciting i want to see this imagine seeing your mom standing in the middle of the living room staring at you in silence you ask her why are you home so early you weren't supposed to be home until next week but she just keeps reassuring you that everything is fine that's when you get a facetime call from your mom asking you what's wrong and why do you look so scared but if that's your mom calling you then who's this woman standing in front of you right now still staring at you with that eerie smile on her face this short film is called mama agnes and even though the entire runtime is less than three minutes i still found it to be incredibly suspenseful and oh, interesting man. so definitely and check out mama scary. agnes and fall oh wow the casting on this is it must must be incredible i mean she's already got that face she just smiles it's like that movie the smile right and she looks scary that's weird girl walks into her house or she's all she's in her house and 
she happens to see her mom standing in front of her just smiling not saying anything just smiling okay and then moments later she gets a call on her phone and her mom's facetiming her so who the heck was the person that was in front of her wow they never bother me I that's scary oh yeah look at that oh wow and that that's like a vintage photograph and it looks like somebody was in the window and and you can see right here like this guy is this guy and i don't know why somebody would want to take a picture of their co-worker going down this pothole or a hole in the ground and then obviously there's like an it clown that's just like right there that 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 is pretty wild all right do this this woman was dancing when suddenly the door behind her closed by itself but that's not the most terrifying part oh this person is going to find a skinwalker in their living room with a piece of wood in hand what is that? how did it get inside i'll show you the rest of the videos right away but be aware that I can only protect my subscribers who have shared, commented, and watched the video until the end. The second person that appears when you click on share, and then on WhatsApp, is afraid of you. He found his cat in a deplorable state. What happened to it? On TikTok, people are saying that this cat is now a skinwalker, and there's nothing that can be done for it. Wow, that's an interesting looking cat. This Tuesday in America, a cat was found behaving like a human. It was transported to a psychiatric hospital because it was actually an advanced skinwalker. Look at its legs, they are not normal. A cat shouldn't behave like this. Huh. Oh wow. Yeah, that cat was just, that black cat was just like sitting there like... Just chilling. Like very human-like. But that other cat, that was that was an interesting looking cat. I don't know. If you guys know what kind of cat that is, put it in the comment section, please. Be careful. If you come across this group of people, run away as far as possible. One. Really. I'll explain everything in the video. But before that, don't forget that I can only protect my subscribers who have commented on the video, shared it, and added it to favorites. The people you see here are not Serbian ladies, but Serbian men and they have plans to conquer the world with their ever-growing numbers. Huh? It's terrifying to know that they are already more than 10,000 in the world gathering to turn this world into a dystopia. What? What's funny in this story is that their leader is a woman named Marcy, and she is also the leader of a malevolent group called Legion of the Dark Veil. So, that... a piece of advice, if you see her or her group, yeah. run away as far as possible right. towards a group of people or into a very well-lit right. place. That's good advice, by the way. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Okay, very scary. Very awkward. Imagine just going for a stroll late night or in the evening. And you decided to happen you, you decided well oh, you happen to walk past this lady who looked like that. That is very, very, very creepy. Very scary. Oh. Can you see up? Oh yeah. All right, it's time to go south. Let's go. What the heck was that? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hmm. Skinwalker. Lots of videos on skinwalkers, huh? Okay, so this sheep. Okay, I, I think I might know what's going on here. I think I might know what's going on here. Yeah, and you see the sheep, like, look how. Nah. <laughs> Oh, 
going through some serious pain I don't know if he had like some kind of a seizure okay so so this sheep and there's like a fire there's a flame going on now I, I saw another video like this and somebody was saying that oh look look there's some black magic ceremonies going on in this village and you see this sheep like and it wasn't just the one there was a few different sheep very similar looking to this one here and they're just kind of like um, letting the flames, uh, you know, touch its fur and just, I don't know. But it, it, it seems quite bizarre uh, behavior. But somebody had, somebody in a comment section said that the reason these sheep do this is because the flames are so hot that it burns away the lice and burns away the ticks um, in their fur. So I, I, I don't know how, I, I, I don't know the validity of, of that comment. I don't know if that's accurate. Never really did any research on it. But that could explain why the sheep is clearly enjoying the heat from the flames. Or maybe it's just like a really cold place. And I mean, this sheep has got a lot of fur, right? So I mean, you would think it'd be okay. I don't know. If you guys know, please put it in the comments. I'd love to, uh, I'd love to hear your guys. Um, understanding of what, we're, what we just saw all right grandma oh that's an interesting looking grandma definitely looks like ai generated or something oh wow yeah maybe just back off you know hmm my kids were singing to us when all of a sudden my daughter looked towards her room and got scared Yeah, the kid's just kind of looking off in a distance, and she's just like, she wasn't even moving. Oh. Angry sheep. Oh, wow. I go for a walk, and I look up, and I see my neighbors. Oh. Woke up to the sounds of a child crying, and this is what I caught. Wake up and there's something over there crying. Do you guys see that? Do you guys hear that crying? Look, it's fucking moving. Hmm. What the fuck is that? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, there's something what there the in the, the shadows. But that's weird, huh? The lady pulled up to, uh, to her house and she saw, or her house, and she saw her neighbors, the lights like all flickering, and all of a sudden they all turn around just like looking at her like, wow, that's, that is creepy. We made a huge mistake buying a house at auction. Found a hidden room. Don't open the door! We opened it and found this Bible hanging from a hook. Goosebumps, then checked guys, the attic. There was an old abandoned suitcase in the corner. Jesus Christ, leave it alone, man. We couldn't leave it alone. There seemed to be ritual items inside. Oh, that one looked like it had some And strange on things it. are hidden in the walls. Odd parts, mirrors, and old photos. We're trying to find out more about who used to live here. Follow for wow. updates. Wow, that that's, yeah, you know, you hear about these kind of stories, people winning these auctions and, you know, buying like old antiques. And you know what they say, right? A lot of these spirits, they like to attach themselves to, you know, to a lot of these like items. And now when you're talking about a house and, you know, like that's a whole different, that's a whole different uh bag of you know what i mean you never know what you're gonna get right and if they're like 
they're doing rentals in this place and they're like breaking walls down and you got a whole bunch of like weird stuff coming out of like the walls and all kinds of paraphernalia and like old vintage items and things that look like there's should be in like a horror museum you got issues you might want to sell that place right away all right Every town has its urban legends, those modern myths, which once proliferated by way of playgrounds and backyard campfires, and now circulate via smartphones and social media. Many of these, like the legend of Cropsey, the boogeyman of Staten Island, are based on solid but only partially understood historical fact. They're more lurid details, perhaps deriving from an attempt to fill the blank spaces in the public narrative. Others, like the creepy past the character Slender Man, oh, which slithered from its cyberspace breeding ground into modern folklore. All right, that was leading into another video that we, I think, we just saw. So, um, wow, the, you know, some of this stuff was honestly, guys, was scary. Like, if you look, I've got goosebumps and uh, uh, no jokes. Um, that some of that stuff was pretty scary. Anyhow. Uh, it, hey guys, thank you, thank you for watching this video with me. I, I enjoyed my time and I can't wait for the next lineup of videos to share with you guys. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe and we can't wait to catch you on the next one. So in the meantime and in between time, don't do anything crazy, don't do anything to yourself um, or anything that's harmful to yourself and uh, we'll, we'll definitely catch you on our next adventure. In the meantime, peace.